Hi, my name is David and today I'm going to show you how to customize um, a leather, plastic leather bag using ghost white toner and laser dark transfer media. Um, we're going to customize this bag um, with a four color design using white color and full colors in blue and red um, and uh, Compared to other tutorials that you might have seen on our channel, um, this print will be done in one pass. So we're only going to run the A-foil one time through the printer. Um, that makes it very convenient and easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Again, I'm going to use a two-step transfer paper, the laser dark A-foil and B paper for the transfer. Um, I already have my ghost white toner cartridge inside the printer in the spot where the black toner cartridge is. I close the printer, I open the paper tray and I insert my A-foil uh, as always with the um, matte side facing up. Make sure it aligns well and close the paper tray. On the screen this time I've got my design um, in black and I'm using some colors this time a crisp red and a um, dark navy blue and as you remember, um, when I print with ghost white toner cartridge inside my printer, everything black on the screen will be printed in white. Um, so I'm just hitting the print button. This time I'm printing directly from InDesign, um, but I could also use any other software like CorelDRAW, Photoshop, or print from um, uh, JPEG files, bitmap files, or straight from PDF files like we've been doing in other videos. All right, um, for my printer settings this time, um, I choose um, uh, opaque film for the media type as we're printing on the sensitive A-foil. I'm choosing uh, for the color settings um, full color printing and I make sure that the um, uh, HP Easy color box is ticked off as I don't want the printer to interfere with my colors. All right, and I just run that print. While the printer runs the print, I'm already going to preheat my heat press. The heat press is set to a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius and I'm going to preheat it by closing it to make sure that the lower plate of the heat press is warm before I do the transfer. So if you want to do full color designs using white and multiple colors, um, just um, make your data, make your files um, using um, solid colors like solid red, solid yellow, solid blacks, solid greens, stuff like that. Um, and then, um, of course, black for the white parts. And as you can see, um, in one run, you get a print um, with white, um, the parts that have been black on screen, and with the colors matching up. So um, this can be straight transferred to the garment um, uh, with no second print run. I'm taking the um, B paper, the B paper can be easily identified um, by the yellow lines on the back side and um, the um, uh, uh, coated side is completely crisp white. I open my heat press. I place the A-foil on the bottom plate of the heat press and I have the printed side facing up. Um, a little hack here, you've seen this in other videos before, um, I'm going to fold the edge so that I can easily grab the B paper for the peeling. I'm covering the print with the B paper, I'm making sure that the coated side is facing down means that I can see the yellow lines on the back side of the B paper. I'm covering it with um, eight to five, eight, five to eight sheets of um, regular A3 copy paper to have a more smooth and more even heat and pressure distribution. I close my heat press, 160 degrees, two minutes. Um, I'm using quite a medium to heavy pressure here to have a good marrying of the A and B paper. Um, uh, the difference between other four color prints that you can see on our YouTube channel, um, like the one Harold is wearing over there, is that um, this time we're just doing a single pass print using 
um, uh, solid colors. The advantage of this technology is um, that you save one step in your processing. So you don't have to reinsert the A-foil and do a second print run to get your white background. One advantage of the B-paper is that the glue, the adhesive, which sticks to the printed um, parts on your design, uh, is also white. So by marrying the A and the B paper, you automatically attach a white background to your print, which will make the final result stick out from any dark surface that you might be printing on. So you can use this technology to print onto dark t-shirts or colored t-shirts like this one, or of course onto black surfaces like for example a black cotton shopping bag or other dark materials. So this is really, really easy um, uh, to use multicolor designs in a one-pass printing. For printing onto this heavy leather bag, um, we will have to remove the bottom part of the bag to make it fit more easily under the heat press. I will already fold the bottom um, so that I get the leather bag as flat as possible. I'm going to store that here and we're gonna need it later on. The foils, A and B paper and the ghost white toner cartridge is a very versatile technology to personalize any kinds of stuff. You can go onto surfaces like wood, like felt, leather of course, cotton and also on any mixed garment using the same transfer media. I open my heat press Remove the copy paper, making sure that um, the A foil and the B paper stay on the lower plate, giving it a quick wipe with a cloth to make sure that the heat goes off the paper evenly. And then I'm going to hold it down with my thumb and I'm going to smoothly and constantly peel the design. While peeling, make sure that you peel evenly and especially when you come to the end of your design that you don't speed up but in fact slow down a little bit so that you don't rip off edges from your design. Right, as you can see here, the glue from the B paper has again perfectly attached to the printed design. And as you can see now on the print, that's the front side, you can see the colors pop out really nicely. And on the back side you can see that a white layer has been attached to the colored and of course to the white surfaces, making them really crisp. This is actually the glue um, which is in fact white. All right, now we can apply this to our um, leather bag. Just to make sure that we don't have some excess glue on the edges, I'm roughly trimming the edge of this design to make sure that it looks really nice. All right, now I have to lower the base plate of my heat press to make sure that the thick leather bag fits under the press. Therefore, I'm going to release the screw and I'm going to screw down my heat press, doing this quite for a few centimeters. Screw it back on. The back on the heat press, make sure that it is as even as possible and give it a quick test press if I still be able to close the heat press of course. This feels quite good so there's still a constant smooth pressure but not too much so that I won't be crushing the leather. All right then I'm going to place my design um, as the handles are here it's important that I don't place it this way, but this way, so that it will be facing the right side uh, once it's finished. All right? Once I place my design, I'm covering it um, with a sheet of silicone paper just for protection um, of the rest of the bag so that I don't burn the bag. And I carefully close the heat press. Once closed, I'm um, Closing the heat press and I'm going to heat press for 15 to 20 seconds. This is a plastic leather. If you would be going onto natural leather, I would suggest to press for just 15 seconds. Um, depending on the surface that you have on the substrate you are printing on, you will have to experiment a little bit um, with the times. Uh, but once you're set, you get a very constant process that you can repeat times after times after times. 
Okay, this was maybe a little, little longer, but that should be really, really good. Okay, before I can take off the A-foil from the bag, it has to really completely cool down. This will take us a while, um, as the leather will keep the heat for quite a while. I'll put it down here. and I open the window to let it cool down more quickly. Um, Ghost White Toner and the Laser Dark A foil and B paper is a very versatile system for all kinds of personalizations. Um, we are doing um, multiple YouTube videos on how to personalize workwear, how to personalize cotton t-shirts and also for hard surface applications. Um, when using um, a multi-trans media you can easily personalize all kinds of hard surfaces for example, like stoneware bottles or coffee marks or, of course, just regular glass bottles. All these hard surfaces are uncoated, so they don't need a special coating um, to um, have the toner, the print stick to the surface. For example, this one comes right off the shelf from IKEA, the Swedish furniture manufacturer, we all know. So for you it's really cool because you can advise your clients to take um, whatever blanks they would like to use um, for your personalization. The only thing you've got to make sure is that you have a rounded mock press that fits the bottles or that the final product fits under your heat press. All right, we check if the design is already cold enough. All right, after completely cold, I put the design on my workspace. Um, now this is never really even, so uh, you gotta be really careful when you start peeling, rolling over the design smoothly and constantly to peel off the design. Just make sure that you don't peel too fast, take your time. Um, this time it's really important that you are patient and that you use your fingers to keep the peel as rolling as possible. All right, very good, very good. When having a design which has been uh, pressed on an uneven or more or less um, a complicated surface like this one on your heat press, um, it is always uh, suggested to start with the um, farthest outing edge for the peeling, not like up here, but up there, because this makes it much more easier um, to peel safely. All right, perfect. This worked out really nice, as you can see. Um, we have 100% clear airfoil, 100% clear transfer, and the design has been nicely um, transferred to our leather bag. As you can see, um, the bag is still shiny, so um, uh, we're going to give it um, a finish press using some silicone paper um, to make the design move even deeper into the um, garment and to make the design look matte uh, and also uh, ensure durability and washability. As you would never probably wash your leather bag um, when it comes to all kinds of cotton personalization, especially things like hoodies and t-shirts. Um, uh, this final finish pressing with silicone paper is hugely important for the washability. So for all the items that you would wash, please never forget to do the finish press. Placing the back on the heat press again. Um, as this is all kinds of uneven, I'm using some cardboard papers which I stuff inside the bag to even it out a little bit. Um, all right, this is something you can also do um, to help yourself when doing um, the first transfer onto the bag. Okay, cool, perfect. Using my silicone paper, I'm covering it up and moving my heat press over it. All right, closing my heat press. Quite some tough pressure here to make the um, design really stick into the bag and to even out the bag on the surface of the heat press um, as best as possible. Um, we're doing a really quick one here, like 10 seconds, 12 seconds, um, as this is not about washability, but about the look and the feel of the product. All right, taking the bag off and I'm peeling it for you into the camera. As you see now, it is melt 
and it moved really deeply into the um, bag, even uh, taking on some uh, uh, of the surface of the leather bag. And right now, we have a really, really cool, really cool aviator bag. Um, and this is perfect for all kinds of um, uh, bags, even like, for example, um, a little necessary bag. Um, so you can really create a custom travel set for your company, for your clients, um, or also, of course, as personalized gifts um, for friends, occasions, families, birthdays, all these kind of things. Um, if you like the video, um, uh, please leave us your comments. If you've got any questions on toner transfer, ghost white toner, the media we're using, um, take a look into the description. We've putting down all the detailed step-by-step -step process for you and also the products that I have been using. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, please make suggestions. We love to experiment with materials and surfaces. Um, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.